call the local agency formation commission meeting together, it's County of Kern, State of California, Board of Supervisors Chambers, on Wednesday, August 22nd, 5 p.m. May we have the roll call, please? Commissioner Fowler? Present. Commissioner Scribner? Here. Commissioner Sanders? Here. Commissioner Rivera? Commissioner Mello? Here. Commissioner McKibben? Here. Commissioner McGuire? Commissioner Couch? Commissioner Morris? Here. Thank you. Commissioner McKibben, can I ask you to do, lead us in the pledge? Please follow me in the pledge. pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Approval of the minutes of the June 27th meeting. I need a motion and a second. Motion. Fowler. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Fowler, a second by Commissioner Sanders. Cast your votes, please. Motion approved, all ayes. Thank you. Public comments. This portion of the meeting is reserved for persons desiring to address the commission on any matter not on the, this agenda and over which the commission has jurisdiction. Speakers are limited to two minutes. Please state your name and address for the record before making your presentation. Okay, I don't see anyone coming to the microphone. Noticed public hearings. Uh, Chairman, with your permission, I would like to move to um, do the C. Delano first, and then come back and do one presentation for all three of the Tahoe Castaics uh, items, the MSR, the sphere of influence, and the annexation. Okay, thank you. Okay, we will go to public project review, City of Delano, annexation number 49. Mr. Blair. Thank you, Chairman, uh, Commissioners. Uh, on April 4th, uh, 2018, the City of Delano submitted annexation number 49 to Kern Lafco. This proposal is to annex approximately 79.30 acres of land located generally in the northwest and southwest corners of the intersection of Albany Stradley Avenue and Willems Avenue. The surrounding properties include commercial, agricultural, and a county soccer park. And an environmental impact report has been adopted by the city of Delano. The area is within the city, city's sphere of influence. Currently, Kern County has a land use designation of intense agriculture and zoned as exclusive agriculture. The city has adopted a general plan amendment of low density residential on 21 acres, high density residential on 18.9 acres, and commercial on 39.6 acres, and has pre-zoned the area as planned development, multiple family residential, and general commercial. The city has signed an indemnification agreement. There is no tax uh, increase involved with this. The city of Delano does not have a master tax agreement with, with the county. The city has entered into an individual property tax agreement with the County of Kern specific to this project. Both the city and the uh, council and the board of supervisors have approved this one-off agreement. This project is consistent, consistent with the general plan, regional transportation plans, and specific plans. It's consistent with commission policies. Uh, this project does uh, convert ag land. Uh, this land has been fallow for several years and is not in the Williamson Act. It is also in the path of development. There is not a uh, uh, disadvantaged unincorporated community nearby. Uh, 
It conforms to the assessor's parcels and there's no functional overlap with other agencies. The city uh, does not currently have a MSR uh, that's current. Uh, this is because of this within the city's, because this project is within the city's sphere of influence, there's no requirement to have one. Your staff has asked for a considerable amount of additional information in lieu of an MSR to, to ascertain the city's abilities to provide services. The city has indicated that they have adequate, adequate water supply. Uh, this project was, will facilitate an, an increase in water usage. The city, as a primary, primary water purveyor, has prepared and adopted a water supply assessment. This assessment has been attached for your consideration. Uh, this project provides additional housing. This plan on the property, including multifamily housing that's consistent with the housing element goals. Uh, CEQA is met by an environmental impact report, which has been adopted by the city of Delano and is in your packet for your consideration. Uh, affected and overlapping agencies and districts were notified and no comments were provided. The process required by the Cortese Knox Hertzberg Act, Local Government Reorganization Act of 2000 has been followed, including notice to affected agencies in any notices and publications required by law. Annexation to the city of Delano has 100% landowner consent. The city has requested that notice, hearing, and protest hearings be waived. It is my recommendation the commission consider the environmental document adopted by the applicant, waive notice, hearing, and protest hearing, and approve annexation number 1722 with conditions set by the executive officer. Okay. Thank you. Do we have anyone from the public who would like to speak to this annexation? Can you give us your name and address for the record, please? Sure. Uh, Joel King, 1675 West Delbrook, Fresno, California. Um, I'm here representing uh, the city of Delano in the capacity of interim city development director. Um, currently, the senior planner is with uh, Keith Bay. Um, I'd like to thank staffs. Um, well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we ju we'd just like to thank staff for the presentation and, and um, bringing this project forward. We agree with their presentation and their um, uh, description of the project, and we're here to answer any questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other comments from the public? Commissioners, any comments? Okay, then we need a... I'll move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Scribner, a second by Commissioner Fowler. Cast your vote. Motion approved, all ayes. Thank you. Okay, now we'll go to the three items together for the Tahunka Stake Water District. Mr. Knox. Madam Chair, if I may. Um, excuse me, Madam Chair. I'm going to recuse myself on these three items because um, one of the landowners has contributed to my campaign for re-election in the last 12 months. So I'll be back after these three items. Thank you. Okay. Chairman, make sure my microphone's on now. <laughs> uh, starting, we're going to be, uh, I'll be talking about the NOS public hearing to hone Castaic Ward uh, District Municipal Service Review. And under public projects to home and Castaic Water District sphere of uh, influence amendment, and item C, uh, the water district's annexation number seven. For your consideration is to home Castaic Water District's application to annex approx approximately 33,907 acres. This includes a sphere of uh, influence amendment and a revised municipal service review. I have no way of quickly confirming this, but this annexation may be the largest with 100% landowner, landowner consent in LAFCO history. It's, it's darn large, as you'll see from, from the maps. Um, the, pro, the proposed area encompasses 103 parcels generally located north and south of State Route 58, east of uh, State Route 223. And there's a map up for your uh, viewing pleasure. No development is planned at this time. The, dis the district will provide water service to the area with existing wells. 
The, pur the purpose of this annexation is for the district to pro provide administra administration of the Groundwater Sustainability Act for this area. Currently, this area is not within a district and would have to be managed by the County of Kern, which apparently doesn't want to manage it. And if you're to hone ranch, I would guess that you would want your whole ranch under one management plan instead of multiple management plans. So it works out good for everybody. Uh, there's no tax increase with this uh, project. Uh, this proposal does not convert prime agricultural lands as defined by government so code section 56016. Any commercial agricultural community uh, commodities contained in the annexation will continue to be produced with no changes to production or operations. There are several Williamson Act agreements within this annexation. There is no intent to cancel these contracts. This, annex, this uh, application is consistent with general plans, regional transportation plans, or specific plans. It's consistent with commission policies. The boundary of the proposed annexation does not conform to assessor's parcels. The area having been a Spanish land grant does not encode in the tax rate system for the county. Therefore, its boundaries will have no impact on existing parcels or tax rate areas. And that comes directly from the assessor's office. There is no functional overlap. Uh, no farmland will can be converted. Um, plan for services included in your packet uh, indicate that they will be providing water for the area. Uh, we have not received any comments from affected or, or overlapping agencies and districts. Uh, this was the seek was handled by a notice of exemption. The applicant has signed an indemnification agreement. Uh, because the proposal has 100% landlord consent, the applicant has requested notice hearing and protest hearing be waived. If approved, the project is subject to condition recommended by the executive officer. One of the other conditions that I'm, I'm placing on this, and I probably should have said this in the past, the sphere of influence amendment must be approved before the annexation can occur, and the sphere of influence amendment will not go in, into effect unless the annexation is approved. So you got to either it both have, have to go or none go. Uh, therefore, it's my recommendation that uh, there's a three votes here. The first is on the municipal service review. Uh, to approve that. Second is on the sphere of influence amendment. And the third is annexation number 1724. It is recommended that the commission accept the MSR, approve the sphere of influence amendment. On the annexation, it is recommended the commission consider the environmental document adopted by the applicant, waive notice, hear us, hearing, and protest hearing, and approve annexation number 1724. Okay. My question is, are we going to vote once or three times? Three times, three please. Three times, okay. But before we get to vote, is there anyone in the public who would like to come speak to this item? Commissioners, any questions? <laughs> Commissioner Sanders? Does this require three motions? It does. <clears throat> Okay, so let's handle the MSR, the Municipal Service Review, first. Can we get a motion? So I move that the Tejon Castaic Water District Municipal Service Review is approved. Second. Bauer. Okay, I have a, a motion by Commissioner Sanders, a second by Commissioner Fowler to approve the Municipal Service Review for Tahon Castaic Water District. Cast your vote. Oh, I'm sorry. Motion approved, all ayes. Okay, our second is the Sphere of Influence Amendment for the Tahon Castaic Water District. Commissioners, is anyone going to throw out a motion? Motion, Fowler. Second, Sanders. Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Fowler, a second by Commissioner Sanders to approve the Sphere of Influence member Amendment of the Tong Castaic Water District. Cast your vote. 
Motion approved, all ayes. And we have the annexation number seven, Tahon Castaic Water District. I'll second. Okay. What was the second? I hear. Thank you. Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Rivera, a second by Commissioner Morris, to approve the annexation number seven for Tahoe and Castaic Water District. Cast your vote. Motion approved, all ayes. Thank you. Commission items. Commissioners, you have anything you'd like to report on this evening? I have to report my neck is a little better. I'm actually able to turn and look at everybody without <laughs> considerable pain. Okay, general business. Approval of claims list number 1807. We need to vote on this. Second. Okay, we have a uh, motion by Commissioner Rivera, second by Commissioner Sanders. Cast your vote. Motion approved, all ayes. Okay, go to item B, request for proposal RFP of audit services for 2017-2018. Mr. Knox. The three-year contract for audit services ended this last year. Your staff put out a request for proposal to audit LAFCO's accounting for 2017-2018 with the option of additional two years. Several firms showed interest, but at the end, only two pre presented proposals. Our most current firm, Daniels Phillips von Bach, and the accounting firm who performed our audits several years before, Brown Armstrong. Both firms are well-regarded and appear to have the expertise necessary to perform our audits. My understanding is that this commission has changed firms in the past to get a fresh look at our books and ensure we are performing our financial duties, duties as required. This would lead to potentially changing firms to Brown Armstrong. Uh, there are other factors to consider, including cost. Over a three-year contract, the Bar Brown Armstrong would be over $12,000 more than Daniel Phillips von and uh, proposal. And with that, my recommendation is none. I'll leave it up to you to pick um, what you feel is best at this time. Okay. Yes, question, Madam Commissioner. Yeah, yes. Or Madam Chair. Um, okay, so Mr. Knox, we, um, I, in my experience, it's good to change at least every five years, but every three would be good to get a fresh, um, a fresh look. And so, um, in in light of that, my um, my thought would be that we, uh, how long are we at the current firm? I'm sorry? Six years. Okay, six years. So it's time, it's time for us to get a fresh look. And then, you know, we can always, you know, after this is a three year, a three year deal with, it's, with, uh, it's one Brown year, Armstrong. it's one year with the option to extend to an additional two years. Okay. That's assuming. It's, it's more expensive. It, it, right? it, it tears up each year yeah I it, you, despite the fact that it's more expensive I think it's important to have a different firm that, to come in and look um, look at the organization and then at least every three to five years that we change and get someone else that that would be my recommendation everybody thank you okay any more comments commissioners okay we've got to have a motion That's a motion, thank you. Okay, Can, then we need a second. Second, Fowler. Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Scribner, second by Commissioner Fowler to accept option two, Brown Armstrong. Cast your vote. Motion approved, all ayes. Okay, go to item C, GIS software purchase reconsideration. Yes. Yes, Mr. Knox. Yes. Um, at the last meeting, I brought to you a proposal for the purchase of an upgraded GIS software package. The numbers I presented to you could be considered misleading. Uh, I, I, to avoid that misconception, I'm bringing this back to you to the commission today. 
When we received the, the initial quote for the upgraded software in January, it did not include the yearly service agreement, which has six additional months remaining on the contract. Since I waited till the end of the fiscal year, six months later, the service agreement has now run out and needs to be renewed for an additional uh, amount of $1,500 per year. While I did mention the service agreement, I made it sound like it won't be payable for another year. Uh, that's not true. The service agreement provides updates uh, to the software, technical support, and a ticket to the annual conference in San Diego, which Mr. Rice attended last month. Uh, we have not yet, we have not, we will not have to buy the, the software again, but there will be an ongoing yearly service agreement uh, going forward. Um, so my recommendation is approve the service agreement contract for $1,500. Okay. What was your recommendation again? To um, approve the service agreement contract for the software for the additional $1,500. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Ms. Fowler. The service agreement for the first year is $1,500. What is it after that? Do we know? It, it is $1,500 each year. It's each year? Yes. Thank you. Move approval. I'll second. The recommendation. Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Fowler, second by Commissioner Morris to approve the GIS software purchase for the, the what is it we're approving? <laughs> the annual maintenance. Thank agreement. you. Yes. Cast your vote. Motion approved, all ayes. Informational information here. Oh, that's to go oh, special district tour by California Special Districts Association. Mr. Yeah. Knox. In your packet is a flyer from the California Special Districts Association regarding a tour they have put together for legislative staff uh, for state legislators. And they have an, and invited guests. Steve Nascimento, the local uh, representative for the California Special Districts Association, has invited staff and the commission to join the tour which takes place on September 13th. If you want to attend or have any questions, call Mr. Nascimento or myself. This is open to the first four commissioners who would like to attend. Uh, more would constitute a Brown Act violation and you know, we're not going there. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in going, uh, let me know. It should be interesting. Thank you. Executive Officer Miscellaneous Items, Mr. Knox. Sure. At the last meeting, I mentioned the use of software program to speed up the completion process with the county. The county requires that we have a standalone computer specific to this process. Unfortunately, the free computers we received from Kern Cog were just that, free, uh, because they're not going to work. Uh, we need to have them uh, available to use uh, Windows 10 and those aren't gonna be compatible with that. Uh, so we're going to have to buy a re refurbished computer, which is going to be 250, 300 bucks uh, for something we're going to use two or three times um, a month. Uh, the irony is because we already have a there's an irony, irony to this because we already have a county computer in our office that handles our accounting uh, software, but the county's protocol won't allow us to use the same computer to do the completion docs as we do the accounting. So we have to create two computers to do very little work, but that's the bureaucracy of government. So there you go. Um, and I want to make another mention of the Cal AFCO conference. Thank you to all those who have signed up to attend the conference. It's at Tenaya Lodge uh, in this October. Should be a great event. Uh, we're holding two room reservations still, but at some point we'll have to give those up or pay for them. The Tanaya Lodge is sold out, was sold out within the first few days of uh, registration. Uh, please do not wait to the last minute to tell us you want to go. Um, if you decide to go late, there's a limited amount of rooms in the area uh, that are located near Tanaya Lodge, uh, so it may be difficult to get you a place to stay. So let me know. Um, in the few. Last meeting, I also talked about a large format scanner as, a, as an item to purchase for uh, our office. Most of our proceeding files has been
been scanned in, it, in our digital format, but our large format maps, our large size maps, have not been scanned. So if anything happened to our office, uh, those would be lost forever. And we don't want that to happen. Uh, Either that or we have to send it out to a third party to have those scanned, and we've looked at some of those numbers in the past, and they've been pretty expensive to do. Uh, so it would be cheaper to do it in-house than, than go outside. We would do it between our other projects and uh, get that done quickly. Um, I have received a quote, but we'll need, I need to bring you more than one, so I'll come back to you with this item in the future for your consideration. Uh, it'll be larger than my, my amount that I can spend without your authorization, so. Also I'd like you to know that the Greater Bakersfield Separation Grade District, which this commission heard two annexations proposals several months ago, has gone through the county process to have the Board of Supervisors hear and approve their annexation proposal. This district was created by the state legislature before LAFCO existed and has its own principal act. Uh, to meet both the Cortese Knox Hertzberg Act and the Principal Act, the annexations are heard by both LAFCO and the Board of Supervisors. Kind of an odd process, but we finally got through the process, and so uh, we'll be doing those completion documents soon. Hopefully, on our new computer to do the do the uh, completion electronically, and uh, so that's a, that's good news. Our office. Uh, Lease agreement comes up uh, in May of next year. Um, we have made repeated a, a request for repairs from the property management to have uh, fixes to our office and have received no response. We continue to have issues with bugs. Uh, our morning begins with a tour of the office to pick up dead bugs. And it's kind of disgusting. Uh, we also have a problem with transits who often sleep outside of Gianna's window which is kind of disturbing at times. Um, and there's a bunch of little stuff as well. Uh, I'm gonna start looking at our options for, for office space in the next couple of months. Uh, I don't know if I will find anything that meets our needs at a reasonable price, but I'm not gonna know that unless I go out and look. Um, the lo current location is terrific, um, but we need, to, we need to see what our options are here. So I just wanna let you know that I'm gonna be out there looking for potential office space. I haven't decided anything, but I'll come to you as well. And with that, our next meeting is Wednesday, September 26th at 5 p.m., uh, same bat time, same bat channel. Thank you again. Thank you. And with that, I will call the meeting adjourned.